Exactly. Hotels sold out in Lincoln. One of our crews actually had to stay an hour outside of Lincoln to cover this story. Jaleesa Irizarry, she's in the Lincoln area tonight, although I'm sorry I had to make the extra drive. Yeah, seriously, Jaleesa, how's it looking out there, the rivalry? Yeah, guys, we have been in Lincoln, Nebraska for a majority of this day, and I got to tell you, people are pumped for this game. There's a special kind of energy here because I think a lot of people realize this might be the last one for a while, so they want to make it count. Don't let the wholesome bun fool you. Red is still the color of rage. But in a sea of scarlet, there is some black. We don't wear red this week, it's hate week. We come here with hate in our hearts and we're gonna walk out of there with a victory. Buffs fans in Lincoln may be hard to find. We're gonna win by 80 million! <laughs> but their enthusiasm isn't. Prime, baby! Prime! Behind enemy lines. <laughs> Pinnacle Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> gloves are off. Do you know what you call a Nebraskan hit hitchhiking through Colorado? Roadkill. This rivalry withstood the test of time. Let's go Buffs. So have the memories. The little kid crying on national TV when we, we beat him in the 90s was probably it for me. And we looked across the row and there's this little kid like crying, right? And that's that shirt right there. Today, the past is the past. What is a corn husker, first of all? Both believe they're gonna grill the competition. I think we're gonna fry them. But for CU fans, this is not a game. We're gonna whoop some Nebraska corn at food. Kickoff is just a few minutes away. We'll, of course, be here and bring you some reaction from the fans, CU fans, and tell you how they're feeling after this game. For now, reporting live in Lincoln, Jaleesa Rosari, 9 News. Feeling pretty confident. There's a lot of trash talking like. going yeah. on there. Jaleesa, thank you.